Hi everyone, it's Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a quick spotlight video on my Petura Aquatica. Um, it sits in my office and I was just observing how nice the leaves are growing, all the new growth, and I thought, you know what? I don't think I've done a feature on this plant. So I decided to stop what I was doing and bring it into the woman cave to do a quick spotlight video. If you're interested in learning more about my Pachura Aquatica money tree stump, keep watching. So the Pachura aquatica is really a very actually common house plant. You've probably seen them in all of your big box stores. Um, sometimes uh, they come braided and they come in different form factors. This particular one is a stump. It has the two, actually has two stumps. So I will show you guys that. There you go. So it has two nice stumps there and you can see the leaves and the stems are coming out of that stump. I got this guy actually from a big box store a couple of years ago. It was quite small and it, it struggled a little bit and I'll get into a little bit about the care, but it struggled and then I figured out what it needed and it's been happily, it's lived happily ever after ever since I figured out exactly what its care needs were. Again, this is very common. This is a very common um, house plant. Um, it is from Central and South America. Um, it's uh, the saying is that it gives or brings having one of these in your home gives you the opportunity for good luck and prosperity. And in these difficult times and in any time, I guess, who doesn't need that? I think it's just a wonderful looking plant. It's so beautiful. I love the leaves and, you know, they're really, really a deep emerald green with a slight sheen to them that I can really, really appreciate. And as this thing grows and uh, puts off newer uh, foliage, the leaves are tending to, are seemingly getting much, much larger as you can see how big this is. So, um, typically these are kind of presented in a bonsai form. Uh, this one is in, a, is in a pot, as you can see. Not really bonsai, but I'm thinking about doing that. I just, you know, I hate to trim it up because look at it. I don't want to cut any of this. And again, you can see all of this is new growth. So it's really, really doing well. Really doing well. It's a beautiful specimen, actually. It sat on the windowsill for a long time when it was much, much smaller. And then it actually outgrew the windowsill. So I moved it to my office and it actually sits on my desk under a grow light. So that's where it has lived for at least a year, maybe longer, a year and a half. Not sure, but it really, really loves the location that it lives in right now. So that, that grow light comes on in the evening and stays on several hours, but it's also positioned close to a sunny window. So it gets natural sunlight uh, on good days when we're sunny outdoors, it gets natural sunlight so it's really thrived in the location. So I'm not going to move it. I'm not going to change too much of anything because it's working. The you know where it's sitting, the care that I'm giving it is actually working. So I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep things status quo. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. So. Let me talk a little bit more specifically about the care of a money tree, uh, Pachira aquatica, which is the scientific name for it. 
So a lot of the information you might find online about the care of these money tree stumps um, will lead you to believe that it's actually like hard to kill, easy. That can be a little misleading. It is quite easy to care for once you figure that out. In the meantime, you may struggle with these. Um, I will tell you for light, they do like and need uh, bright light or you know, like a really, really sun sunny windowsill. Obviously, I wouldn't put it outdoors. That's too intense in sunlight. It will burn the leaves, I'm certain. Um, but it does really need a, a, a very sunny location, okay? So bright, indirect light at minimum for, for the lighting needs for this uh, plant. For temperatures, indoor temperatures um, between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit would be ideal for this plant. Um, the watering can be tricky. They need to be moist, but obviously not soaking wet. Um, but me personally, when I was watering it more, I had trouble. Um, with it even though again what you'll find online it says to water it one to two times a week I found that to be for my plant too much um, I water it probably every seven to ten days is when it gets watered and it really really has done well with just that watering schedule um, so I you know I don't know what other experiences people have had with money tree plants. But I know, again, for what I've done with this one is water it le less more than more, if that makes sense. So uh, again, you'll find that you read, you know, keep it moist. So that would be watering it every seven, seven, I mean, excuse me, every one to three days. That did not work for me. So I water, I, I don't water it that frequently. So it gets water every seven to 10 days. The, the soil needs to be dry. So you'll wanna to check to make sure, I, this is my recommendation, that the, you let the soil dry out before you water it again. Um, and um, you know, it should be fine. So I have this guy in a general purpose uh, soil potting soil. I did add more perlite to it. Um, the vessel that it's in does have drainage, which I highly recommend that you put it in something in a cash pole or some type of planter that has drainage um, so it doesn't get soggy. So yeah, um, fertilizing, general purpose fertilizer should work. Uh, I haven't fertilized this guy in a while, but with it coming up on spring here soon, which you wouldn't know considering it's 30 degrees in Dallas today, but whatever. Um, I will start giving it some fer some fertilizer. So I think just a general purpose fertilizer should work for it well. So for propagation, you can propagate this plant by air layering it or taking a stem cutting. Obviously, I don't believe if you take a stem cutting, you won't have the stump. I don't, I don't know how you would. Um, but possibly, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I've never propagated this plant. So if you have propagated this guy before, drop a comment down below and let us all know what technique did you use. Uh, did you do the air layering? Did you do a stem cutting? If you did a stem cutting, did you develop trunks like these? Um, I'd be curious to know. I would like to see it. Um, I would think it would take a long time too, but you can propagate these pretty easily. So it says if you do your research that the plant likes high humidity, I won't argue with that. 
Um, but what I will tell you is it doesn't get that here. Um, right now it's in the woman cave and I've actually put my humidifier up really. Um, this guy doesn't get any excessive amounts of humidity. So, um, but you know, according to the readings that, that I've read that it requires high humidity, which I would argue with. I would like to see it. So, you know, it, it does call for high humidity in what I've read, but I can tell you or attest to the fact that this particular plant does not get high humidity. So I don't know, maybe if it did, it would be much larger. I don't know, highly doubt it, but just saying from my experience with this plant, having high humidity has not been a negative factor or not having high humidity has not been a negative factor in its growth. So the money tree stump is susceptible to the common pest, uh, scale, mealybugs, aphids, spider mites are the common pests that tend to like this particular plant. I have not experienced any of those pest pressures with mine. So knock on wood that I don't. I'm going to go ahead and close the video out just wanted to showcase this tree I think it really is a beautiful tree um, I think it's easy care again once you figure out the requirements um, for your for the tree in your environment um, it's beautiful it will add to any home any office so it is quite affordable I, I don't believe this was over, I wanna say eight or nine dollars. It was much smaller, however, but it's quite affordable. Um, it It is, if you believe, it brings good luck and prosperity into your home. And again, like I said earlier, who doesn't need that? Couldn't hurt. Um, it's, it's, it's a stunning plant. So I highly, highly recommend the Pachira Aquatia uh, to any, any plant lover's collection. It's a stunner. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments, you know, if you have a Money Tree Stomp and tell us all about yours and your experience with it. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. It will really help me out. Turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.